Hello friends, uh, this video is going to be a little bit special I guess because uh, I'm going to tell you how to level 3 combat skills in one go. I'm talking about uh, demolition skill, equipment maintain and unit information, these three skills. First, the easiest one, demolition skill. As you can see all you need is a simple torch and then any structure you, you can punch with it. I built a simple tiny shack, uh, really low quality though, and then you just equip your torch and you need to punch it so you deal demolition damage, like so. As you can see, if you have an EMP or basically the best mod pack for Life is Feudal, then you just uh, set it to this delay and start it out. And that's it. And you can go take a break and your character will level your demolition quite a bit. Also, you will need to stack yourself on torches if you wish to level it until 90, because you will go through them quite a lot. As you can see, you deal not that much damage. Even this tiny check will last for a while. And if you build a good one, well, that's even better. So, basically, that's all you need to know about demolition. There isn't any better way. Uh, even though on level uh, 30 you will be able to use CH Torch, it's a terrible idea for leveling because it deals much more damage to the structures, but experience yield is the same as a simple torch. Obviously, <laughs> using Trebuchet for leveling isn't an option at all. So, that's it. Next skill is Equipment Maintain. Uh, this skill is also really simple to level, but not quite annoying because you need a lot of broken items to fix. Uh, so you need an item like this, practice access, as you, as you can see, it's out of durability. So you right click on it and you choose maintain equipment like this. One action takes quite a, uh, quite a bit of time, I think it's a little bit uh, more than 10 seconds. On level 0 then it decreases to 9 seconds, uh, somewhere around 80 or 70 or so and you will need a lot of broken weapons or shields whatever you can fix uh, by my estimation I think I fixed about uh, 300 items uh, with uh, average durability being uh, 200 well not 200 180 that was an average and I did it with 5.4 foot quality and uh, Power hour. I spent four days each day using power hour to reach level 90 of this skill. This this is how much time it took me to level it. So it, it will it, it will take a while to reach the so desirable apply poison skill. And as for items, I would advise you to use. For me, the best items were these practice axes. Not only they were super easy to make, uh, they were also uh, they also had insane durability 200 and they were the easiest to break for me. Uh, obviously, if you have friends helping you out, they may decide, uh, well, they will may provide other items for you. And th this, this you just decide whatever, whatever your guild needs or your friend needs. So you just use whatever items they have and then you just use them to level your equipment maintenance. But I did this solo, so I had to break hundreds of these practice axes and then fix them and then break again and fix again well, so so and so on. but that's it uh, I used one-handed axes uh, uh, because uh, they were the easiest to break uh, one swing takes uh, took like uh, less than half a, half a second so it was easier to break them that's basically it so that's all you need to know about equipment next skill is unit formation okay this skill is annoying to level because you need a help from someone, you need a friend or a second character on the second account so you can uh, load them at the same time like I do right now. So let me switch to my second character. Okay, wait a second. Okay, here we go. Got the lag for a bit. First of all, obviously you need to invite uh, your, sec your character into the unit, like this. Now when we into in one unit, we can issue different commands. Uh, as you can see on this character, uh, we have three types of 
formations at first this is the only way to level it you just switch to combat stance like this and you uh, yeah you use any formation you want guys it doesn't really matter uh, a cooldown is about 30 seconds so each 30 seconds you just click it over and over again obviously you can easily macro it like I did I macro it on 6 and I just uh, left my character clicking 6 every 30 seconds for a few hours and well, no, it, it, it didn't even took a few hours sorry it took like I think one hour to reach 30, it was pretty fast. Then when you reach 30, there, you can improve your leveling a lot. Because now you get an order. Not just a formation, you can shout this order, like hold your ground. This is it here. And this order has a 10 second cooldown. So you use this, you wait 10 seconds, you use it again, you wait 10 seconds, you use it again, and then you change formation. They have a different cooldowns, as you can see here. This is three formation, and this is three orders that, they have, that you will have available on level 30, 60, and 90, each order on each level. So, then I use again, let's say, charge. Come on. Ah, I don't see it. Uh, sorry guys, uh, I, I made a mistake in the turn off formation. Without formation you can't use any orders. And here we go, as you can see it's leveling quite a bit. I can't say in two words what the hell it is. Each formation improves some something like, for example, I'm right now in a wedge formation and it gives me momentum buff and uh, penetration buff. All uh, my uh, characters in my unit will get this. Amount of buff you, your characters and your unit uh, teammates get depends on your, on skill level of your unit, unit information. Uh, as you probably can guess, each formation has different buff. Like for example, this one we have circle formation, and it increases. Oh, sorry, this isn't it. Yeah, this is it. It increases. It, it gives you accelerated movement speed and uh, in blends breasts. Next formation is wall formation. Let us wait for it. But while we wait, let me show you what hold your ground does. It gives you additional buff uh, that slows you down, but increases your defense. As you can see, this is it. Next we have a wall formation, which again increases your defense and also slows you down. Uh, next we have a charge, shout or order, I think it's available, yeah, on level 60 and uh, it increases your movement speed this is it and uh, so basically it's movement speed and momentum that's charge command uh, the last order is move you get this order on level 90 if I'm not mistaken, yep so it again gives you movement speed and balance brass, which uh, saves your stamina. So this is three formations and three orders you get from this skill. Uh, yes, they don't seem like much, but in mass fights they can be pretty handy. But that's it guys, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Or oh, everything I know about these three skills. Well, I wasn't gonna actually tell you about about them in like details, more like just how you need to level them. And I think I did my job just fine. So, thanks for watching me, see you later.